Hello everyone and welcome to a Static Grass Creations Studio Update. Let's take a look at what we have for you today. This is a, a small Vampire Counts Force from Warhammer Fantasy. <coughs> we have 60 skeletons, some, uh, some Vampire, Battle Standard, Dire Wolves, Black Knights, uh, Black Coach, uh, these have been done to a tabletop standard and a details standard and we will have a closer look at the models. Okay, so here we have 60 skeletons. Uh, done very simply. We have white, uh, white bone, there's a little bit of a um, little bit of a wash the weapons are picked out and the battle standard is uh, done with freehand. This whole this whole force was a commission by the way. Uh, these were done to a table stop, tabletop standard. So, uh, very simple scheme, easy to do. Uh, kind of like a very fast way to get uh, large numbers of models done. So in this instance we have you know the basic white scheme uh, with a little bit of brown um, wash or ink in there. Uh, washed, washed metals for the weapons. Very easy and quick to do. These are done across the across the board, standard, uh, standard uh, static grass and sand flock for the bases. And let's take a look at the free hand. So this is the standard bearer for the block of skeletons. Um, so looking at the, the standards for vampire accounts, I saw that they had lots of skull iconography on their flags, so I just uh, mimicked that. Put the um, elongated teeth to represent vampires. You know, vampire counts. Another guy with a weapon. These are picked out in bronze. Otherwise, easy, easy to do scheme. Next we have the Black Knights. Uh, these have been done to a detailed standard, so more um, highlighting and layering rather than dry brushing and washing. Um, the client sent me a few, or half the, half the squad um, pre-painted as a reference. And I was also asked to update the to update the steed's color to a clean bone rather than a caramel bone. Um, so all these are old models. They're quite old. They're all metal. Um, and yeah, very small, smaller looking than. Uh, what Games Workshop produces today. So these are the client sent ones. And these are ones that were painted by me. I updated the, had the basing with the standard static grass and sand. Layering, highlighting. Let me take a closer look. I also put rust effects, the uh, Forge World weathering powder, on uh, on the metallics on uh, these Black Knights. So for for this bone is a comparison. I don't know if you can see these, but uh, a little bit darker, but it's smoother. Um, 
it's uh, the paint is layered on rather than dry brushed, uh, so it gives it a smoother finish. There's a couple more musician. Another spearman. You have the rust effects. Yeah. Next, we have the miscellaneous stuff. Uh, this, these models, I just needed to fix up. Uh, they had, you know, broken head or uh, broken tail. Uh, this guy was actually off the base, so I glued him back in. Uh, this guy's sword arm was uh, broken off, so I fixed that. Um, and then this needed to have the battle standard um, broad replaced with a brass rod. It's very hard, um, won't bend like pewter, since these are all pewter models and won't break like plastic if it were. Yeah. Last but certainly not least is the black coach. Now this is the old model. I'm not sure if uh, if it came with the base for the black coach part, but uh, I made one. So this this part of the base is made out of MDF, and underneath is a uh, thin layer of styrene, so I can put them all together into one base, and it would, uh, it would fit together and not um, wobble around. A little bit more sturdier. Uh, this is all one chunk of metal, almost. Tons and tons of pewter. Um, the nightmares here. By the way, this is all done to a detailed standard, so with highlighting and layering. Um, the nightmares here. One of them was missing the main here, so I uh, so I kit bashed one for this nightmare. Bonus points if uh, you can name all the pieces from here. Um, yeah, so smooth bone finish rather than dry brushed. Um, the the rider, he um, he's very pale looking. I made it so that he isn't quite bone but he's also uh, like dead skin, so very pale colors, a little bit of blue in there. Um, I made the flames here, uh, necrotic green fire. And this guy looks like he went, this looks very painful. I like, I like that little nice feature. Um, and for here, I actually painted the vampire inside. You can see pictures of the vampire inside on my blog, um, if you can find the post. Um, but yeah, I always, I really like the detail on the, in this. I'm surprised at how much detail that they packed into this, even though it's metal. And, you know, 10 years old or however old this model is. Um, yeah. So Staticgrass Creations is a professional miniature model painting assembly company. Uh, we love what we do and we want to bring miniatures to life. So check out our website at www.staticgrasscreations.com. Everything will be in the, uh, the details of the video. Um, and you can contact us and set up a project. Have a creative day.